guys, welcome to 209 Online. So, kindergartners, you have heard this before. We are going to talk about homophones today. Homophones are two words that sound alike, but they're spelled differently and they mean something different. So we did a bunch, uh, maybe even last week, of homophones. I want to review just a few that we did and then I'm going to introduce some new ones. So mail, there was the type of mail we get in our mailbox and mail, a boy. Mail is spelled M-A-I-L, but mail like a boy is spelled with an A and a magic E, okay? So that was one we learned already. We talked about scent. There, there were two different types of scent, like the scent that we smell and the scent like money that we spend. C and C, that we can look out at the C, we can use our eyes to see the C. You guys had fun with that one. Pair and pair. I have a pair of socks on my feet and I can eat a pair. And last one, night and night. The one with that silent K is the kind of night that fights the dragon, whereas it is nighttime and we need to go to bed. Those are just some of the ones we practiced already. So now you remember what we've done. Let's start some new ones. Let's see if you can help me guess. Okay, the first one, let's find out what we've got. Flour, like cooking flour. What could be the homophone for flour? Well, I gotta find a word that's spelled similar and sounds exactly like it. Flour. There are flowers outside, and I have flour to make my cake with. Fur. When you guys were learning bossy R's, you sometimes didn't know which bossy R to use in your word fur. Well, if you use an IR, you're talking about a fir tree. But if you use a UR, you're talking about fur on a cat. This is the back of a cat. Ring. I need to wring out this towel because it has too much water in it, like our magic erasers in the morning. Ring. It has a silent W in it. But the other type of ring is like the ring on my hand. It does not have the W in front of it. Hose. When we learned about gardening, we use a hoe to kind of dig up the dirt and loosen it up so we could plant a flower. The other type of hose is this hose right here. We use the hose to water the flowers. But if I have two hoes, it sounds the same, but it means something very different. Tea. I bet some of you have seen this kind of tea at your house if your mom or dad play golf. This is a golf tea. It's spelled with two E's. The other kind of tea is something that you might drink. I need a cup of tea. This is a tea bag. It has an E-A. Meat. I like to eat meat, but not everybody does. Meat with an E-A. But the other type of meat is I can't wait to meet you at the park. M-E-E-T. Two E's. Waist. The belt needs to go around your waist. But please don't waste your food at lunchtime. Spelled differently, but they sound exactly the same. That's called a homophone. Son. My son is named Brody. Well, I have two. Luke. You get to see Brody the most. Son is with an O. But if I'm talking about the sun not coming out today because it's been raining all day, I want the S-U-N. Son. Toe. I hurt my big toe with an O-E. But if I use a tow truck to tow the broken car to the shop, it's spelled T-O-W. Tow. Hair. I have my hair and I have a wild bunny or a wild rabbit. It's called a hare. So, 
I am going to sew on a button. You guys are going to do that as one of your activities. That's right here, S-E-W. This kind of sew is when we planted the grass or planted the seeds to go grass for our leprechaun hats. So to plant seeds is to sew. And rows. These chairs are in rows. But a rose is very nice to get. It's a flower. Rose, rose. To sit in a row. Now you notice the thing that changes in all of these words is a lot of times the vowel team that you use, whether it's a magic E or an EA versus an E, E. Sometimes it's that silent letter that goes at the beginning, like that W or that K in night that we did last week. These are called homophones. Homophones are when two words sound the same, but they're not spelled the same and they don't have the same meaning. Now you guys get to practice it a little bit. These, this at the top says homonyms, but you know what? Sometimes they don't get it right on our paper. These are homophones. Blue and blue sound exactly the same, but spelled differently. I want you to practice these at home. Then don't forget to look at the description underneath this video to see the links that you can go do at Brain Pop Junior, Brain Pop Regular, and Khan Academy. All three of them had fun activities for homonyms and homophones. We did homophones today, but we're going to do homophones next time as a review, and I'm going to introduce homonyms. Okay? Bye, guys. Have a great day.